Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Serastus Knight Castigator from Forge World. It's right here. It will set you back a whopping £194, so it's just slightly over double the price of a normal plastic Imperial Knight from Games Workshop. There are a number of reasons why uh, these knights are more expensive. They're much taller, they're almost the same height as a Warhound Titan. Their weapons are better, they're faster, they have more wounds, they're fully posable, and they have uh, way more detail. I've been meaning to pick up this knight and the other three for a long time. By picking up these four, of course that has meant that uh, the rest of the Titan Legion has suffered. I haven't been able to get um, the Titans that I wanted to get. However, that is the sacrifice you have to make sometimes. I've built all of the other Titans. I know how to build them. These ones, I've never had a Serastus Knight before. I'm a stickler for buying new models and experiencing new things. And I'd rather buy a different model than the one I've already got to experience something new. Anyway, as I said, this has set you back £194. Let's get into opening it. It's actually my least favourite out of all of them. Um, I'm not a big fan of that war blade. The bolt cannons are alright. Um, but yeah, no, the actual ones are my favourite. So it comes in one of these very, I say, cheap uh, Forge World boxes. Uh, you know, for 200 pounds, I think, um, personally, I think they should uh, come in, you know, fancier boxes um, with like night herald heraldry and things on them. Um, you know, if you're charging this much for them. Now, it doesn't have a big bit of bubble wrap in it like, like the others had, uh, you know, one of these thick bubbles. Um, it's got the mini bubble wrap, which is, yeah, it still works, I guess. How many bags do we get with this one? Oh, we're getting four, which is one bag more than the uh, Lancer. I'm getting a feeling that maybe I haven't got the right amount of parts of the Lancer, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, so you get this uh, stunningly detailed uh, scenic base here. <laughs> uh, it's just normal night size base. Um, it was checked by uh, WS. Will Smith, I'm guessing, uh, on the 31st of August. Wow, so... This baby is an even fresher one the, than the Atron. The Atron's birthday was the, I think, 28th of August. Um, so this one is very fresh, less than a week, less than a week old. Um, wow. This is the highly detailed uh, CAD uh, instruction guide. <laughs> it consists of six sides of A4 paper that are um, in black and white. Uh, they, Games Workshop haven't even uh, fought and it says uh, Imperial Armour and not, uh, and it says Imperial Armour on there as well. In the year 2014, um, Forge World have, had not yet discovered um, colour printers. A lot of these instructions are just copied from the other Imperial, from the other uh, Serastus Knights, except for this bit here, which shows you how to glue the front um, cannon onto the actual main assembly, I guess, and uh, the, the pipes for the heads. And that's what it looked like. What a crap pose. <laughs> you just know I'm gonna give these uh, knights uh, an incredible poses. You just know. I, I, can, I can hear it in your thoughts. Okay, let's go through all of these bags then, guys. So there's four bags. We'll hit it up with the, the largest bag, first of all. And this is the uh, main carapi car carapace. This is the main uh, carapace. Right here, it's exactly the same as all of the other knights, with the exception of the uh, Atropos, um, which has, yeah, completely different uh, carapace and um, shoulder pauldrons, I want to call them, but this is the same as the other uh, two, the Atron and the Lancer. Uh, speaking of which, we've also got these, this knee armour. I think that's the same. I'm going to do a detailed look at all these armour pieces uh, when I'm finished, but uh, that's what you get for those. Um, you get some pistons, you get some uh, 
you get some of the pistons you get this bad boy which uh is very very thick very chunky ammo feed um reminiscent to the ammo feed for the uh, sakar and punisher tank um sort of reinforced uh ammo, ammo feed for all the bolts for the bolt cannon incredible uh, reminds me of the atron's uh, ammo feed too you get this whopper i think i'm just gonna attach this to uh a gray knight dread knight i think that's what they're called aren't they and uh, just have that as a blade it is a bit on the wonk slight wonk there but again um awesome looking blade better than i thought it would look like maybe because that's uh because of forge world's paint job but loads of detail there with the piping and the tubing um and then these shoulder pauldrons which are different all of the knights have the different shoulder pauldrons uh, the atron the lancer and now the castigator um I prefer the Atrons out of all of them. Anyway, that is bag number one. Let's go for bag number two. Looks like it's got many generic knight uh, pieces, such as the uh, neck and the head mount there with the uh, cabling and the pipes. It's exactly the same as the other knights. Uh, nice little command console for the pilot to watch uh, Warhammer YouTube videos on. Uh, you've got the uh, shoulder, you've got the side plates for the uh, chassis. I think they go something like that. Um, but yeah, loads of detail in there. If you can see, see that lots of like 3D detailing, which you just wouldn't get on the plastic kits. And um, lots of depth, which is uh, great for, for detail and shadow and um, getting the null oil in there. Uh, you get the uh, rear. You get the rear power plant and the venting system or the heat sinks, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's the same as the other knights. You get a banner, you get a knightly house banner. This one does look different than the other knights. So it's a quite a thin one. You get the head. Look at this head guys, proper knight, proper knight head. I mean, I think that the sort of chin uh, mouth area is a bit, bit too far forward, but um, yeah, uh, got a huge uh, underbite. So that's one of the, that's the head that you get with it. You get the uh, thighs and the legs, going to be the same as the other knights. And then, yeah, you get more of the legs. And then finally this bad boy, which is where the I think the uh, bolt cannons will, will fit into into the front. Uh, got some 3D detail in there. With the, uh, that looks like a heat sink, but the ammo feed, ridiculous how thick that ammo feed is. Um, and a little joint there, which we'll just attach to it. Uh, mine's gonna be completely super glued. Um, I may have the torso loose. We'll see, I may magnetize the torso. Recently bought a load of magnets, so um, we'll, uh, We'll go through that. Might, might use them up. And then this bag, uh, quite a few generic pieces again. Uh, I'm wondering if this is just a generic uh, bag for, for the Knights, because you get a load of parts that I've seen many times already. So uh, we'll just go through them all individually, otherwise this wouldn't be uh, very fair unboxing. Um, so you get some armor plates there. Um, you get, uh, I think the I think the weapon mounts, shoulder mounts. Now you get a um, load of pistons, an ankle, piston holders, shoulder mounts. You get the top carapace uh, escape hatch, I want to call it. Um, I like the detailing, like, I like the uh, rivets on the edges of the armor there. And uh, you get these uh, vent things, exhausts. They just look so cool compared to the uh, Questorus uh, like exhausts. Um, more reinforced shoulder mounting there. I like all the rivets. And you get a load of toes.
They look like exactly the same toes as the other uh, knights. I love the treads on the, the bottom of them, though, the bases. Uh, you get these icons. So you get the Horus one, the Aquila, the Mechanicum, or Adeptus Mechanicus, and then you get a free blade one. My camera is struggling to focus with the, uh, the old background there. And these whoppers, I don't know if I've seen these before. They're interesting. And then these things, again, I've no idea what they are. I'll find it out after this video. And then some more uh, mountings. And then we're on to the final bag. Uh, this is a juicy one, I think. I've got a feeling this is a juicy one. Look at that already. Look at how juicy is this? Feast your eyes on this amount of detail. Look at that. Amazing. Look at all those rounds for the bolt cannon. I guess each one of those is individual and they could just be slotted in or in the ammo hoppers. And you've got some uh, little controls there and obviously a skull. Maybe the eyes light up red when it's empty. <laughs> yeah, fantastic piece. Haven't really seen any issues on many of these. Um, oh, you get some more of these uh, that fix to the feet, to the lower legs or the ankles. Um, you get this interesting uh, shield fire guard thing that will, um, you know, fix to the, I want to say the bolt cannons. I don't think the uh, blade goes on there. Now you get a couple of extra shoulder uh, pauldrons um, which give the castigator like a, a layered armoured look. So yeah, you get those. I think this is the uh, chest armour that goes on the front of the knight. And you got these piston things to do with the arms. I like the uh, venting in there. Yeah, this which is part of the. I think I think this I think this piece is uh, to do with the arms as well. Get some cabling. You also get the hips. I think this is the same hips. Very thin. It's not a thick knight. It's a it's a thin one, so it's going to have a smaller hip station than the plastic ones. And then look at this. Now, this is amazing. Um, uh, looks to be like a very good sculpt. No issues at all with the warpage. Sometimes you get one of these barrels that are bent or something. Um, I like the flared look to it and the rivets in there. Uh, no visible warpage or slippage at all. It's a lovely sculpt. That's going to be a dream to paint. And then finally you get uh, a big throne here um, lots of detail on the back with the piping and things and uh, yeah I think that's going to be exactly the same as the other uh, Serastis Knight kits. So there you go uh, that is my entire unboxing and first look at the Serastis Knight Castigator. Um, although it's my least favourite out of all of the four Serastis um, chassis knights I actually enjoyed that. Uh, I really like the the bolt cannons, and uh, you know the the blade is is just bigger, and the blade is bigger and beefier than I expected it to be. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what colour to paint that though. That's going to be an interesting one. Uh, anyway, what do you guys think of uh, the model? Please do put it in the comments below. Of course, I'll be going away and, and building this and things. And uh, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor protects.